Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with another FGO reaction video and today I'm going to react to Fate Grand Carnival the opening. It came out I think uh, a few hours ago, uh, 12 hours, like when I'll be uploading this it will be like 12 or 13 hours later. So I'm pretty like you know like when I, as soon as it came out I decided to yeah this like this will be good. It's like a two minutes video I'm guessing this is an opening. And so because this is an opening, obviously the uh, audio will be muted because copyright. I'm sure it has some kind of copyright thing in it. So yeah, like I won't take any risk. So the video will be muted and I'll be putting the um, link to the original video in the description box. Uh, you can go there, play it alongside my reaction. And I'll also be timestamping my video so that it's easier for you to sync the original video to my video so yeah so all right so let's see uh, i recently very recently watched fate grand carnival if you have not watched this i'll be you know linking it somewhere here <laughs> you can go check it out and uh it was great you know it was great to see all the fgo um characters in a carnival phantasm type of a setting you know it was so good and i'm guessing this opening will also be something like that so I'm really excited to see. Uh, it had an opening, like you know, Grand Fate Grand Carnival. When like, not an opening as per se, it was an ending. But it was just like you know, Gudako and Mashu kind of like you know, like like in a still image. And they were you know, you know, raining Saint Quartz and <laughs> raining Summon tickets, all those stuff. But so I'm guessing this is like a proper uh, opening. So let's see what this is, you know, like about. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started with this video. So all right, so here we go. Uh, Fade Grand Carnival opening song. Uh, start. Okay. Obviously the song is oh we have Vinci Nair. Whoa, there are a lot of servants here. Oh my god, Not so <laughs> oh my god this is good this is good i have a lot to talk about after this ends <laughs> oh my god all the summer swimsuit servants so many things are happening i have to properly analyze it later on okay okay we have shuten as well and ibaraki king protea okay i was not expecting that <laughs> dantes <laughs> i can hear his laughter Oh, Blu-ray and DVD. Uh, yeah, we saw this. This was uh, Fate Grand Carnival. So this is like, um, I'm guessing, a promotional uh, opening for the DVD that is coming out of Fate Grand Carnival. And is, is this what the, the things that we're seeing with Jalter and all, is this like the sequel that we're going to have eventually? I'm guessing it's something like that. Okay, uh, 26 to okay, that's the end. All right, a lot to talk about now. I'll <laughs> like, I'll, I'll watch it little by little. I'll be pausing it. Okay, here we go. Uh, first of all, uh, obviously, the song is the same. We see here, um, here it is Mashu Gudako, and he here it is. Uh, we see the Da Vinci here. We see a little, you know, those like little characters who we see in Fate Grand Carnival and fa uh, saw in Fate Grand Carnival and also in Carnival Phantasm. Uh, like in Carnival Phantasm, it was like mainly Tsukihime characters. But here we can obviously see Frankenstein, a little Frankenstein and a little um, uh, mysterious heroine, you know. And, and we get a little dance here. That's quite cute. <laughs> okay, Artoria here. Okay, uh, just a sec, I missed that. Okay, 
um, obviously the uh, Mr. Zirian Frankenstein and we have um, Hassan here. I'm guessing this is Hassan. Yeah. Ah, Nero. Nero and obviously Saber, like our classic Saber, <laughs> our Tony Up and Dragon. Okay, uh, again, a lot of things popped out. Oh, here it is. We got another addition. Uh, this is, I'm guessing, um, Carmilla Ryder, you know, the little thing that we see here. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, we have the same cast here, but oh, we have an addition here. Um, uh, Arthur Lily, Art, uh, Arteria, uh, Arturia Lily here. Wow, they <laughs> obviously three of them are sabers and like three of them are saber faces. So, okay, um, Nero, uh, okay, we saw all of them. Okay, here it is. Um, who can we see here? Here we can see Osakabe Hime. I'm guessing this is Shuten Doji Caster, and I'm guessing this little thing is Ibaraki Doji. We can see her, you know, yellow <laughs> banana colored <laughs> um, hair style. And obviously, like Gudako, Mashu, uh, Artoria, Nero, uh, Artoria Lily, and we have Artemis here. Where is Orion? Is Orion here? Um, I'm guessing he's somewhere on Ar like Artemis's shoulder or something, probably. Uh, we have Gawain here, and is this is this Tristan? Who are these? This is Amakusha Siro. I can recognize him. And this is, I think, Para. I'm not sure. Para says I can't even properly pronounce his name. What's the pronunciation? Para Paracelsus, isn't it? I don't know, and I cannot recognize these two. Anyways, um, and we can see obviously it's raining Saint Quartz and all. Okay. Obviously, there you go. Shoot and caster and Osaka Behemoth. Erishkigal, we have Erishkigal here. Jolter, John D. Arc. Wow, they did a lot of character models. I'm really happy for about the fact that you know we can we we have a, a like you know a visual of Shuten Doji and Ereshkigal, you know, uh, especially uh, like Shuten because we barely see her, you know, in, in in like any kind of like you know, be it friend can carnival or any kind of like you know promotional thing they do, we we never see Shuten Doji or Ibaraki Doji. We might see Ereshkigal and Ishtar because obviously they, like Ereshkigal and Ishtar are quite popular because they're ring faces. But you know, like these characters, like Shuten Doji, Jolter, we barely get to see them. Like you know, Jolter we kind of see for a few times, but so Shuten Doji is a real like you know surprise, and I'm really glad they did her, her character model and all, you know. And okay, um, let's see. All right, here we go. <laughs> all masters, you know, night. Uh, each and every master's nightmare. Here we can see. Uh, Guda <laughs> Gudako, <laughs> she is so excited. I'm guessing she's probably like, you know, kind of summoning for the first time and she's so excited. Oh, I'm going, going to get so many, like, you know, five star servants. I'm going to get so many, like, you know, four star servant. Oh boy, little that does she know that if Gio is not like that, if Gio is pain. And there we go. Literally what happens every time. <laughs> Marvel or black keys <laughs> either of those two <laughs> sometimes we get some love potion you know and uh, like th these are the main things and Gudago can probably understand after this that this is pain like this is not as like you know happy as she thought that oh I'm going to get so many servants it'll be so great nope you get nothing you get mapo tofu <laughs> oh my god uh, all right okay next uh artoria nero and uh, artoria lily and obviously we can see artoria and nero fighting just as we saw in fate grand carnival uh and they're fighting the reason behind their fight is obviously because like you know <laughs> artoria insulted nero called her the you know the rip off like red saber a uh, palette change you know all of those things a child emperor and nero got pissed and i'm guessing they're still continuing their fight even even here you know <laughs> and obviously like art uh, artoria lily is like kind of spectating 
oh my god here it is um i cannot say what actually is written here it's saying something max but i'm guessing this is lsk girl's youtube channel <laughs> amazing this is so great and Ishkel is doing mukbang you know and uh, she's like eating and everything and she's probably doing some kind of like you know horror like story corner or something <laughs> probably talking about her spirits like you know Galu spirits uh, from the underground uh, underworld and then she gets banned no yeah she gets banned. Is, isn't this the um uh what was what's the name uh, uh, altera altera's uh, uh the, the sheep isn't this that thing or am i mistaken this golden fleece i can kind of i think it's probably that and obviously like i'm guessing ashika's uh, channel got banned or something or her uh, video got claimed <laughs> just like my video would have got like you know copyright strike if i did not <laughs> mute this video oh my god <laughs> Like the irony! <laughs> oh my god! I'm sure if I keep the you know if I keep the audio here, it's definitely going to get copyright striked. <sighs> okay. And okay, so we're seeing here, uh, like you know, um, this is Osaka Behime. She's probably doing some kind of sketching, some kind of manga, like you know. And we have a uh, Musashi. Uh, what is those called? Uh, like uh, Musashi. Um, uh, what are those called? Plushy, isn't it? Yeah, plushy. Musashi plushy. Wow, that rhymes. <laughs> Musashi plushy. And we also have a little foe here. We have these action figures. I'm guessing. Uh, <laughs> we have a Kotatsu, obviously. And he, she is kind of also watching Erishki girls. You know, uh, like YouTube video. And now she's sleeping. She's probably <laughs> watching Fate Grand Carnival here. And she's playing now, and Ishkiel's like video is kind of playing in the background. Kyohima kind of came in, I'm guessing, kind of to see what's actually happening here. And then, she, like, I'm guessing she missed her deadline or something. <laughs> Kyohima is kind of like mad. Oh, I'm guessing Kyohima is her editor or something. Yeah, most probably, you know, because she's watching the time and getting mad here. <laughs> she's mad that you, you're lagging behind Osaka Behime. Quick, do your job. <laughs> Here we go. Um, <laughs> the round table nights. Uh, okay, let's see who, like, who are these people? Um, Gawain is here, Lancelot is here, and Tristan, obviously. The, the trio of, like, you know, the trio of the round, uh, like, round table nights. And they're kind of, like, you know, doing this kind of, uh, uh, like, a dance in front of Artorias <laughs> swimsuit. <laughs> like, you know, swimsuit servant, uh, poster of it oh my god and arthur came like you know arturia came in the saber version and she got very embarrassed and mad at them wow <laughs> they're kind of praying to her wow <laughs> okay this scene gilgamesh as far as we can remember you know in carnival phantasm she, he kind of did a whole thing and kind of made a scene in this uh like you know uh, in the diner where saber was there like you know and he kind of made a whole scene and kind of like, you know, Saber pulled, yanked out <laughs> Saber's Ahegao and Saber became Saber Alter and kind of like, you know, <laughs> beat, like, you know, like brought Gilgamesh into submission. All of those stuff happened. So he's not in the diner anymore. He's come, I'm guessing this is like, uh, what do you call those? Uh, Kabakura, uh, uh, isn't it? I'm guessing something like that. I'm not sure because uh, as far as, as the setting I can see, it seems it's something like that. And like, uh, you know, Jolter is the uh, host here. So it's something like that most probably. <laughs> and Gilgamesh as always, he's probably like, to, like talking about his exploits, you know, like, oh, like, you know, like the mongrels here and mongrels there, like these mongrels don't appreciate my uh, stuff and like he's telling his own like you know thing kind of like tooting his own horn and is like you know getting happy by himself Jolter, Jolter is pretty pissed at that because obviously Jolter doesn't care about those things so <laughs> oh my god Jolter did yeah Jolter did it Jolter kind of like you know 
burned Gilgamesh, <laughs> set him on fire. Wow. And these, like, I'm guessing these are the employees. They're trying to, like, you know, patter the <laughs> fire down. I'm really glad they're going to bring Jolter here, you know. Uh, I'm guessing in the next uh, sequel. Oh, okay. I'm not sure what is written here. But uh, since this is Gilda Race, probably he's telling something about how, like, you know, cool Jan is, like, you know, Jan the Ark, how she is so great and everything. Most probably something like that. <laughs> I'm not sure what it's written here, uh, but, you know, something like that, most probably. And we have, uh, like, Arash and um, uh, Fuma Kotaro. <laughs> Sometimes he's kind of reverting back to his caster form, you know, the, the mad kind of form. Here it is. <laughs> there it is. Look at it. <laughs> oh, okay. Now we have all the swimsuit servants here. Um, Tamamo Lancer, uh, Nito Chris, the swimsuit version, Medip, the uh, swimsuit version, Meltrilis, um, uh, this is Carmilla and Ishtar. I'm not sure what they're doing here, uh, but you know, they're here. Oh my god, Orion is so happy. <sighs> In the next scene, probably Artemis is going to come and you know, <laughs> stab Orion. Oh, he did. She did not come. I thought she was going to come and stab him. But anyways, okay. What is this? I cannot uh, figure it out. What is is this? A mysterious here in all, like you know, XX or something? Wait a minute. What actually happened here? I'm probably missing something. I'm I'm really unable to understand what this is. Uh, and then there's this whole like you know beam coming out. This this portion I did not understand. Probably something I forgot because you know like I like I obviously play FGO. I should be able to understand it, but I don't know. Uh. Okay, so <laughs> next we see Helena kind of cra cradling Orion. Who is this? Is this men? Oh my god, we have oh, so many characters here. Uh, we have Lancelot and uh, obviously this is um, Moriarty. I'm guessing Lancelot is telling something to Moriarty, Moriarty being the bartender. Uh, Achilles and Atlante. <laughs> Red hair. <laughs> oh my god, uh, Shutan and Ibaraki. Uh, wow. Okay, then we have the dance. Uh, Okay, there we go. Jandi Ark and Jalter. Both of them we have here. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, let's see. Is there any new servants added here? Nope. All the servants we've seen. Nero, Jandi Ark, Jalter, Artoria, Gudako, and Mashu. Alright, so here it is. We have Artemis, Ereshkigal, um, Osakabe Hime, and... Um, uh, uh, Arturia Lily. Wow, Eshkel, like, you know, uh, Osaka, especially, uh, Eshkel, we have, obviously, we saw her animated in Babylonia, but Osaka Behime is, and Artem is also, you know, uh, and Lily as well, like, they are, like, it's, it's the first time they're being animated, I'm guessing, like, you know, as, like, a proper TV uh, show, uh, like, character. And again, like all these characters, you know, the new characters we can see, Sit uh, 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 Sitonai, um, Ibaraki Doji, Shiten Doji, and obviously Jaguar Man. And like, I'm really so happy. And, and oh, this is, uh, this is not the uh, usual Ibaraki. This is the uh, Lancer form, isn't it? Yeah. And obviously this is the caster form of Shuten. And so good, you know, these like new characters we are seeing. These are the very recently, like, you know, released characters. It's nice to see them, you know, you know, in a proper like you know, character model being animated. Okay, let's see. Is there any other addition? Nope. All the characters we've seen. Okay, again. Nope. No addition. All the uh, previous characters. Oh, what's happening here? Just a sec. What? What are these carrots? Okay. Am I missing something? Like we also kind of saw, like you know, um. In the Grand Carnival, like, uh, Gudako was holding carrots. Am I really missing something? Is this some kind of inside joke that I probably missed? 
if you know you guys like you know you can like tell me in the comment section like why carrots and there's so many carrots i think it's probably some kind of inside joke which i probably am unable to like you know grasp <laughs> oh my god i have still so much to learn you know okay and then we have king protea here she's kind of waking up <laughs> Wow, she's so big, the earth, oh my god. Oh <laughs> yeah. Damn. Okay, and then we see Dante's kind of freaking out at everything. <laughs> so excited. Oh my god, and then he's seeing all of the, like, you know, Mashu and uh, Gudako's, like, scenes. And then we have the dance. Okay, we can see a lot of characters here. Uh, we can the additional characters here is Columbus, obviously Gilda Reyes, Saber. And we have Bunyan. I'm guessing that's in the background. Um, Gilgamesh, Caster with the you know the dress we got, uh, Waver, um, Blackbeard, red hair. Uh, okay, these are the ad additional characters we can see here. Oh, we can see uh, Arash in the background as well, kind of. Okay, let's see. Uh, is there any other addition? No, these are all the characters we've seen. Okay, um, and then in the next portion, we can see obviously they're kind of saying like Blu-ray and DVD. There's this Olympics. This is the uh, Fred Grand Carnival that happened before. Yeah, this is the previous thing that's happened. We had this fight. Okay, and then we have Moriarty here. I'm, I'm guessing uh, okay what is this memorial book endless carnival and he's kind of and uh, moriarty is kind of banishing lancelot into the, <laughs> the depths of hell i don't know what that is but you know <laughs> i'm guessing these are the things that we're going to get in the next one you know next ova and these like you know champagne bottles kind of popping off oh we have medib here and all of these characters she's kind of throwing out cuties <laughs> wow Okay, these are the scenes from the next one, I'm guessing. Like, you know, Helena kind of cradling uh, Orion. And Jalter kind of... Oh my god. What the... <laughs> Jalter. <laughs> Tugging Columbus's beard. Oh my god. Maybe Columbus did something, you know, like... Uh, being After being drunk or something. And Gil Gilderays is all, obviously, I'm guessing, preaching about Jan. <laughs> Arturia Lily is so happy with so many QPs raining down. Oh, Jolter is kind of oh my god. <laughs> She's probably like telling like uh like you know asking Ar uh, Arturia Lily for some kind of tips or something, you know. Yeah, I'm quite sure. Like this is, I, I'm guessing this is a Kabakura, a Kabakura setting where like you know Gil Caster is here. Obviously, this is Caster, this is not the Archer Gilgamesh. And Gilcaster is here and is this Chevalier Dion? Yeah. Oh, we have Siduri as well. I did not notice her. Oh, I'm, I'm guessing obviously they kind of, uh, you know, worked for him in Babylonia. So I'm guessing that's the reason why they're here. Uh, so so <laughs> I'm guessing these contain gold or something. <laughs> Who knows? Oh my god, and I'm guessing uh, Jalter is like the host and she got pissed off at Gilgamesh like Gilgamesh was tooting his own horn or something Yeah, she's kind of burning everything. Oh My god, she's using a noble phantasm to skewer <laughs> Okay, what is this? Oni cure Oh, we're going to have a repeat battle of Saber and Nero Oh my god, wow. Uh, that was great. That was fantastic. So good, you know. Like a little two minute uh, video had so many things to offer. Like, this is so great. <clears throat> Excuse me. And. Okay, so. I'm so glad they're continuing this, you know, like, I think this is probably the small little thing that we can get, like, you know, uh, like where we get like the freight, uh, what do you call them? 
fate um grand order uh you know the characters uh especially the characters we get to see in the lost belts you know them being animated this is a small little you know thing obviously we have sitonai here so she's kind of like a lost bell servant in a way sitonai and king Pro uh, uh, king protea and uh, was there anyone else uh met up summer i think probably she's not a lost for servant but she was introduced a very late on you know so yeah like all these characters like these are like this small slim little chance we can get to see them you know especially the like the swimsuit versions and all because even if like the you know in the future the lost bells get animated you know these events that we have where we see these like you know various like servants in different costumes and everything and different like you know the swimsuits and all we're probably never like you know those are never going to get animated obviously like we're probably going to get the lost belt animation and like you know the probably the uh, epic of the remnant if they do it probably they'll do it or i'm not sure and probably the uh singularities if they like you know try like decide to do the london one or the america one like all of these things we'll probably like have a chance in getting but not these things where we are seeing you know the different costumes that they are wearing for example gilgamesh with his like you know the the, the business suit and um uh, not business suit i'm not sure what that dress actually is but, you know but that cool looking dress <laughs> and uh like the swimsuit versions like carmila in a swimsuit um you know uh uh Medib, um who else was there i forgot oh uh, tamamo tamamo then like you know all the other servants that we saw and like that's like that's one and uh, like uh, obviously shoot and caster uh ibaraki doji lancer like these like these costume uh like you know these costume uh wearing like servants wearing these costumes this is the only probably like you know ova type of a thing that we're going to get to see them animated in a way so i'm really happy that they're continuing this and it's good you know like in this this is like the first grand carnival like you know the ova that i watched was so amazing it was so fun and everything into like you know it was like a very like you know in this whole like fates like story is in itself is a little dark in a way you know and in a lot of like uh, portions it becomes quite dark so it's really ha like you know nice to see all of these servants like you know happy and kind of <laughs> messing around and even the antagonists kind of like you know coming together and like having fun so it's really great and yeah that was fantastic and <laughs> the funny thing here is like you know we the first thing that we saw like gudako trying to uh, summon some servants and getting mapo tofu wow so relatable <laughs> okay this is really good uh like you know so many things that we saw and yeah so yeah i guess that was it that was my reaction to the fate grand carnival ova opening that came out and yeah i'm very happy and i'm really looking forward to any other future you know things that they does regarding the grand carnival thing that we are having or like you know any other future fgo project or any fate project whichever we are going to get i'm so looking forward to it so the next uh, the next project we're going to get is obviously solomon and <coughs> camelot 2 so after the, those two ends i'm guessing we're going to get something like you know some new thing who knows let's just you know, like keep like you know let's just keep our patience and see what they do like you know what most of they bring so yeah so yeah guys thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to uh fate grand carnival opening so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and also subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below uh, if you want to say anything or you want to share anything i'll definitely check them out and also if you have any other suggestions as you related comment down below i'll go check them out you know do some reactions on them so yeah guys um oh also another thing uh, if you guys want to watch my other fgo content the playlist link will be given down in the description box you can go and click on it you'll find all my fgo stuff in one place you won't have to search for it and obviously the original video link will be given also down given down in the description box you can go check it out there as well so yes, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the, another FGO related video, which I make. Yeah, so until then, goodbye and have a nice day.